Hey guys, my last Wrestling for Self Defense video stirred up a lot of great discussion and a little bit of controversy, so I thought we'd uh, do a part two. I noticed three main trends in the discussion and I thought I'd address them with this follow up video. One, the clinch to a trip or throw is a superior self defense option. That's what a lot of people were saying, so we'll look at that. Two, the original double video wouldn't work if the attacker is rushing you, or the original example wouldn't work if the attacker was rushing you. That's partially true, so we'll look at that as well. And number three, you want to avoid the double leg in a self-defense situation, because if you hit it, you're gonna come down to the ground with your attacker. So, I wanted to explore how to use the double if an attacker does rush you, but also what to do if an attacker stalks you. So I gotta say, I hadn't thought of the rushing attacker situation, and it's true. I wouldn't pick the blast double in that scenario. I'd still use a double leg, but I'd just put my head to the outside to avoid taking the brunt of the collision on my neck or spine. But if your would-be attacker stalks you, I still believe the blast double is a great tool to quickly put him on the ground and disengage. It's not that difficult for me to stay on my feet and run away from the altercation after hitting my double. This is especially a good option if you're cornered. All right, so finally, let's take a look at the clinch scenario. I wanted to examine why I think the clinch might not be the best option in a self-defense situation. Here, I'll just let the video speak for itself. Yeah. Mm -hmm.